Hi, this is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. Now I am in front of you to deal pedo within 30 minutes at my best. The first important thing that you have to make a note is an initial oral visit should be occurred within six months of eruption of the first primary teeth, not more than 12 months of age. Means I hope you know that the first teeth erupts into the oral cavity at six months. So from six months to 12 months, your first visit has to be done. Okay, right? So it should be six months within six months after the eruption means it should be done within six months means six plus six it should be done. If, if you consider it as an age, it should be done before 12 years. Or if you consider after the duration after the eruption of the first first teeth, it should be within six months. The first thing should be the first uh, oral visit to the dentist has to be done. Even when there are no specific problems, the child's first visit and the oral examination should take place by at least one year of age, means at least by for first birthday. Okay, that's what the 12 months word says. So this question was uh, uh, given in NEAT. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm stressing it. Okay, so just, just make a note of it. And the next comes in the last session of operator, we have learned about the keys triad, newborn tetrad, and everything. So something more advanced at that time in 1999, uh, the brothel is the one who has given something called as an integrated karyogram program, which he has divided into five sectors. These colors are important and the color coding is important. What does the code for yellow code for circumstances? And this is what the diagram based question they can ask related to this. Okay. So, I mean, this is a karyogram and uh, the percentage diagram based question uh, they can ask means uh, basing upon some questionnaire, your, 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 this software basing upon some questionnaire, the software is going to give you the color coding uh, uh, as in the form of a pie diagram. Okay. So the next one is the primary window period, secondary window period. The dates are important. Okay. And uh, they're correlated with primary teeth that represent the oral cavity and the permanent teeth. The next goes is insufficient caries lesion, which is also called as a white spot lesion. And the treatment is not restoration. It is by using remineralizing agents. Yesterday we have learned that is recaldent. You can use, you can use xylitol, you can use CPP, ACP, or you can use CPP, ACP plus. And this is what uh, you can make a note uh, how this optical uh, behavior uh, will make you to understand the difference between the white spot lesion and enamel hyperplasia okay so the differences between these two and uh, the normal refractive index of air is one and water is 1.33 whereas hydroxy appetite is 1.66 they can ask question refractive index of your composites most of the composites they range very similar to that of the hydroxy that is 1.6 and this white spot lesion can be easily diagnosed on diagnodent okay they cannot be diagnosed by radiographically or routine radiographic techniques linear enamel Caries. You can see this. This is the linear enamel caries. They can ask a diagram based question. This is also called as odontoclasia and it's most commonly seen in the case of the maxillary anteriors and it's basically due to the metabolic defects such as low calcium level or trauma during the birth. Okay, and these may uh, these areas are mainly predisposed for the occurrence of the dental caries. They're seen on the label surface of the anterior teeth. The next comes is a cycle of remineralization and demineralization whenever the pH is below the critical pH that is 5.2 to 5.5. Okay, explained by Stefan's curve. This is the question that is given in 2020 NEET exam. And uh, if it is below 5.2 to 5.5, then the de then the re demineralization occurs. And if it is above that remineralization occurs, that is basically depends upon the buffering capacity of your saliva. So buffering capacity, main buffer in the saliva is bicarbonate. The main buffering capacity in the saliva is bicarbonate okay so this is how okay you have something called as an hydroxyapatite whenever it is treated with fluoride it's going to convert into fluorohydroxyapatite fluorohydroxyapatite is having a brittle critical ph that is 4.2 to 4.5 whereas normal hydroxyapatite is having a 5.2 to 5.5 means below 5.2 to 5.5 only demineralization occurs whenever it is treated with fluoride then it should be below 4.2 to 4.5 only then the de demineralization occurs and make a note about the fluoride bombs. Okay, I hope you are well familiar with the fluoride bombs are also called as a fluoride syndrome. They can sometimes call as a uh, halo effect. It's also sometimes called as a halo effect. Because 
uh, the the outermost surface is in, intact but you will have a caries uh, beneath that that is basically due to the outermost surface is being remineralized by uh, the the fluorides that are present occasionally you can see this uh, see this syndrome or see this teeth on radiograph hope you are very clear this diagnodent so diagnodent uh, is given by scientist name is important and uh, it is a new laser fluorescence system found uh, and and uh, diagnodent values ranges from this i mean uh, according to shobatan it is 9 to 99 sometimes it's they can give you uh, 0 to 99 for example if you have minus 9 to 99 is the best option than 0 to 99 so these are the interpretations 5 to 25 initial lesion it's more than 35 advanced lesion okay so please do make a note this is once given in one state entrance kerala examination i think it's 2015 kerala question uh, if i'm not wrong and uh, maybe they can ask you such questions so make a note about scientist names okay one two three okay and of course yesterday i was discussing something related to the caries risk assessment I, again this is a this is one of the chart that is given by american association of periodontists caries risk assessment so basing upon this i mean your caries risk assessment uh, contribution factors are divided into contributing factors general conditions and clinical conditions so mostly we'll be focusing on clinical conditions i hope most of you are familiar with this so basing upon different types you're going to give a score of 0 1 and 10 right for example there are no risks the overall score for example uh, patient having fluoride exposure in the case in the case history you got to know fluoride exposure is there then it is s so its score is zero for example uh, the next one is visible plaque is 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 present okay uh, upon applying the disclosing agent you see visible plaque is present then you can keep a score one okay so you, uh, once you're done with all this questionnaire you have to add these scores okay so you have to add these scores if it is more than 10 if it is more than 10 then the patient is high risk if it is in the range of uh, 1 to 10 moderate risk if it is 0 he is low risk hope you're clear so this is a fins modification of uh, gu black classification i hope most of you are familiar with gu black classification class one two three four five regular last questions and uh, the class six was recently and recently means it is a modification that is done by simons and class six i hope most of you are know that is the cuspal tips of the molar teeth and incisal tips of the anterior teeth comes under class six so slight modification of gu black classification was done by fins these are called as a fins modification of gu black classification and do make a note of all these five classes which is applicable to the primary teeth then few parameters that you have to make a note when you're talking about the newborn baby that is the length uh, weight hemoglobin h period this was given as a question in one of the state entrance long back and of course these are most commonly asked questions either in the neat or either in the aims for both medical and dental students okay this is you can see one one sex chromosome missing i, I hope most of you know that the autosomes are 44 and two sex chromosomes will either xy or xx regularly so totally you have 46 chromosomes but if you count this you have 45 there is one sex chromosome that is missing here so it is nothing but 45 x word that is nothing but turner syndrome the next goes okay here what happens so here it is you have a trisomy of 21 trisomy of 21 is nothing but down but it is xy xy means it is a downs male patient if it is xx it's going to be a female downs patient you have total number of regularly you should have 44 autosomes but downs has one extra chromosome so one extra autosome that is 45 they have two sex chromosomes here it is also two total number of chromosomes is 47 autosomes are 45 and sex chromosomes are two the next comes this is a normal individual you have uh what is this okay you have some <coughs> you have 44 plus two right two sex chromosomes next uh, fear of dogs make a note uh, make a note of all the fears uh, make a note of all the synonym words uh, that are used for the children okay uh, fear of open crowd fear of pain do make a note of this okay so please do make a note of this uh, bulimia is something called as in a self-induced vomiting okay so please do make a note of these terms regularly asked in the examination and of course vaccination for the child is very very important so please do make a note at birth is most commonly a regularly asked question what are the vaccines that are given at the birth and what are the vaccines that are given for a 
pregnant women what are the vaccines okay uh, pregnant women uh, what are the vaccines that are given at the age of 16 so please do make a note of all these things and of course uh, the vaccination recommended exclusively for hiv patient is again important which vaccines are given like according to who and unicef which vaccines are given uh, for an hiv patient are very very important and of course we have discussed about this that the antibiotic prophylaxis to prevent or infective endocarditis okay what are the ca- what are the what are the things which are at high risk very high risk high risk moderate risk and low risk so please do make a note of this already discussed make a note and and next one is the classification of mouth guards type 1 type 2 type 3 type 1 are called as an least preferred that is the, the stock mouth guards which are available in your market least preferred okay and type 3 is mouth formed and custom made are the most commonly preferred and most comfortable to the patient hope you know this rubber dam sheet the size of this is 6 into 6 inches regularly if it is a pedo case it is 5 into 5 inches the next goes these are <laughs> rubber dam clamps these are rubber dam clamps okay the next goes this is rubber dam forceps and this is rubber dam punch you can keep holes you can you can see holes this is rubber dam template okay it is 6 into 6 means adult template the distance between the two holes in the rubber dam can 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 be a question again that's 1/4 one fourth inch or six millimeters so that is the distance between the two holes in the rubber dam next one this is called as a cool dam cool dam is nothing but heatless liquid rubber dam okay so this is used to block all the leaking areas okay so this is something like this once you apply uh, because of the reaction that occurs it, it's going to convert into hard structure that's called as a cool dam this is an angst frame metal frame few other frames Uh, the other other frames like a foldable frame and all these are discussed on the group recently just just have a look the diagram based questions they can ask on that particular area so this is an this is an angst frame that's what i'm telling okay this is a strap where you can strap it to the neck and make a note of these intra oral sizes size 0 what are the dimensions one dimensions two dimensions three and what are the uses of this are very very important and of course of course this is an important thing given in the recent need also okay so what are the different surveys and oh, i mean the survey contains how many number of normal iops occlusals and the bite wings all these are important and pulp vitality is regularly not not properly indicated in you know, in and then patients it's basically due to a lack of uh, maturation because both the primary teeth as well as the immature permanent teeth may not exhibit full alpha myelin axin innervation they don't have that myelin innervation okay so it's going to take minimum minimum years after the eruption so until that uh, even if you give that pulp vitality the 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 teeth may not take or the patient may not feel symptomatically what is sucralase and a few points related to this because again this is the most commonly asked area in the recent things of course numbers formulas are nowadays asked okay so they get the high chances are there they can ask this particular formula that is given by vermilion for uh, knowing the fluoride concentration basing upon the temperature and coming to the school water fluoridation okay a high concentration of 3 to 5 ppm is added to the school water fluoridation long back but however recent modification if it is 3 to 5 is long back but recent modification they have increased this concentration to 4.5 to 6.3 mm this this is a question regularly most commonly asked and approximately 45 to 50 percent of caries reduction was noted of course these are very very important and most of you are well familiar in solving the problems related to they can ask you the amount of uh, uh, fluoride content in the water and they can give you the age of the child they can ask you the excess amount of uh, fluoride that can be given to this particular child or an individual so of course we have already discussed there is cpp acp that is casein phosphate amorphous calcium phos- phosphate technology so what are this uh, the full form is important this helps in the quick remineralization the one of that example is a chewing gum there is recal dent and second one is tooth mousy which is identifies plus tooth mousy plus is going to contain extra component called as fluoride which we have discussed in the case of your operative dentist video next is a cinder test of course we have discussed about the cinder test and what is the uh, what is the dye that is used in the cinder test that is a bromocrisol green and uh, and of course like uh, what are the color changes at a different ph this is because this is basically critical ph 
and come into the classification of smart video smart smart notes which is very smart material which is very very important smart material are the material which reacts to the uh, which continuously reacts to the surrounding surrounding temperature or surrounding situation so smart materials are the passive passive smart materials examples of this and active smart materials these are the examples and coming to the brown fact what is a brown fact brown fact is regularly seen in the case of baby that helps in uh, maintaining the Therm thermal regulation of the baby so please do make a note where does brown, brown fat is present how much percentage of the body weight is containing brown fat and what are the advantages of brown fat and everything but clearly given self-explanatory please do read it if you don't know the next comes numbering system please do make a note of all numbering systems very simple ra question but most of you get confused learn about all the three or uh, all four or five numbering systems which are very very important which were uh, discussed during your regular classes of your oral anatomy the next comes okay this is a question that is given in one of the state entrance long back and there are high chances that if you want, they want to make question tricky they're going to give you it's very simple like heart rate decreases you can see heart rate is more in the children of less age same goes the blood pressure what happened to the blood pressure so the blood pressure okay it's going to increase okay whereas uh, your respiratory rate is going to decrease these are these are the normal things we we know this these are the normal things so you have to focus more on the 1 to 3 3 to 6 and 6 to 12 so apart from this what is the gender difference between the uh, females and males common sense questions because nowadays you can see 2020 need has more common sense questions like 10 or 15 common sense questions uh, logically it's very difficult for me uh, to find the reference for those questions I, I can simply tell the answer very simple with my common sense but it's very difficult if you if you want to drop a reference for that it's, it's it sounds very difficult so such common sense questions can be there in exam for sure and i hope you are well familiar with this that's american association of anesthesiologist physical status classification what is one two three four five six question is given in 2020 need and this is one more classification of primary uh, uh pr primary teeth it's it's like a trauma traumatic classification of primary teeth. and i hope most of you know ellie's classification of primary teeth is exclusively class 9 very simple any sort of trauma to that the primary teeth comes under class 9 in ellis but there is one more classification given by the zg where exclusively it's, it's a primary teeth exclusively for example if it is a uh, fracture involving enamel dentin and pulp in primary teeth comes under class 9 in ellis but in this classification, it comes under class three. So they can they they are going to mention. They do, if they don't mention, you go for Ellis. If they mention clearly according to this person classification, then go for this. And this is uh, this is occlusal radiograph number two size is also called as a uh, cookie bite or cracker bite. Okay, so most commonly useful in the end patients. Okay, this this is again a smart thing. Okay, the question is I think this is this question was given in twenty twenty neat okay so please do make a note these values are important this pick is directly from your power playbooks uh if you like to add i i, I want to make a note about uh, the nola stages okay please do go back if you're not clear with nola stages uh please do make a make a note about the nola stages nola stages are very very important okay and uh, make a note about fluoride paste contraindicated below four years fluoride mouthwash contraindicated below six years and fluoride tablets are contraindicated below 12 months okay so four years is uh, fluoride paste mouthwash is six years and uh, fluoride tablets are uh, contraindicated below 18 18 months that is one and a half year okay so all these are important things that you have to make a note as you move further into the preparation phase okay so please do make a note this uh, clax rule okay i hope you know there is something called as clax rule again what is that slop even your slop your is also called as in a buckle shift is also called as in a slop rule which comes in which is also called as in a clax rule this comes under in your uh, radiology right i hope most of you are good and familiar with this and uh, some considerations uh, when you are preparing cavity so mostly they'll focus on this considerations right so please do go with each and every one that is underlined on this okay because questions were being asked on this area how the contact areas and everything and uh, of course a star question most of you are still confused at this particular area what is the alignment of rods in the primary teeth what is alignment rods in the permanent teeth 
very very important please do read these lines if you are confused draw the diagram it's done it's important it's very 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 important i don't want you guys to miss this okay the next comes is some important things like uh, i just want to add a note about uh, period of over period of over is 0 to 2 weeks and period of embryo is 2 to 8 weeks or it is going to be 14 to 56 days uh, where the development of the facial and the cranial structures occurs the next comes is the period of fetus the period of fetus is from ninth week to the birth means after 56 days where the accelerated growth and proportional growth takes place infant means infant so most of these are discussed by me on the group infant is up to one year neonate is up to 14 14 days okay uh, yeah i think uh, right we can move further like and uh, of course these are the uh, these are obturating material that is regularly used and you just make a note regularly used obturating material in the case of your permanent teeth is katapacha and in your primary teeth most commonly used obturating material in the primary teeth is jadvoi and most ideal is they can ask you most ideal most ideal is what is that vitapex and metapex are most ideal these are most ideal this is most commonly used you have few questions uh, in your pp books if i'm not wrong and i hope you have done it so few questions on uh, uh, this uh, uh, i mean like material material that are useful for the uh, used as an obturation material in the case of your uh, deciduous dentition okay so i hope you are done with that particular uh, table which is given in the books and if you're not done please go back and finish that that's very very important most commonly used is jedvoi ideal is vitapex or metapex whenever you have a bleeding canals or moist canals better to go with colocota and whenever you have whenever you feel like you need less micro leakage then it better to get better to glow with endoflas and permanent restoration is mandatory in the in the case of your end of class. Okay, so these are the things that you have to make a note. Of course, star question. Wherever you see, you will get questions over this. <coughs> the comp pharmacrysal, the composition. Okay, what are these compositions are very, 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 very important. And how the mechanism of this occurs. Okay, right. So I think it's four minutes. We have discussed recently, question is given in the aims. Uh, amount of the time uh, okay pharmacrysal uh, what are the advantages of uh, your uh, gl glutaraldehyde okay and regularly two percentage of glute is used in the case of your disinfection that is called as cidex and even the two percentage is again used in the case of your uh, uh, primary teeth pulpotomy procedures okay and the duration is uh, it's around like four minutes okay two to five okay we have discussed all those things with the references on the group just go back and just have a look Okay, some aesthetic crowns, I mean, most of you are, I think it may be new to you, but please do read it, okay? So, aesthetic crowns are categorized into two types, crowns that loots to the teeth and crowns that bonds to the teeth. So, they can ask you the classification, which of the following is this, which of the following is that. The next comes is diagram-based questions, okay? These are polycarboxylate crowns. These are called as in a pedoperals. These are called as in a face-cut crowns, it means the face is only open. <coughs> These are resin vernier stainless steel you can see stainless steel but upon which aesthetic resin is added okay so please do make a note uh, make a note these are very very important questions can come new areas questions can come okay so please do make a note of this for the academic reason how to pre uh, how to prepare is not important this is a diagram based question they can ask you strip crowns most of you are well familiar with pedo pedo jacket crowns new millennium crowns what are the advantages of this new millennium crowns art glass crowns the art glass crowns has this three-dimensional molecular structures with high cross-linking structure means they have more strength when compared to any other thing and finally the classification i i, I mean this is this is you're familiar with okay if you're not very perfect with the classification just have a glance okay uh, <laughs> so these are the important areas uh, that <laughs> that you need to focus when when we are talking about uh, the pedo in specific uh, there, there are a few other uh, areas uh, recently being stressed maybe uh, maybe a diagram based questions in all these areas and particularly most of you are asking questions related to some controversial stuff i'm just going to add a note negative growth is seen in is seen in uh, 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 seen in which tissue that is 
lymphoid tissue and the best example is thymus right and mandibular growth is uh, completed by age of 18 to 19 years mandible is two bones up to one to one and a half year at one and a half year both the sides of the mandible fuses together to form one bone and do make a note the most common oro orofacial malformation the malformation of the head and neck uh, is cleft lip and cleft palate and the oral body if it is oral body then it is club foot club foot for the oral body and if it is focusing only head and neck that is cleft lip and cleft palate and coming to the gonial angles again a controversial things at birth the angle is 170 degrees at in in the case of children it is 140 in the case of adult it is 110 in the case of old days it is going to be 140 again and uh, uh, they can ask you the terminal planes okay terminal planes see whether they're asking the terminal plane in the primary dentition or terminal plane in the mixed dentition if they're asking in the primary dentition for example if they're asking the primary dentition the most common terminal plane in the primary dentition is the mesial step that is 49 percentage of cases followed by the flush terminal followed by the distal step whereas if they're asking in the mixed dentition it's going to be flush terminal plane that is 76 percentage flush terminal plane and uh, mesial step is 14 percentage and next goes the distal step is 10 percentage I hope uh, you're very very clear and a few other new things uh, nowadays regularly asked in the examination and those will be shared on your group related to the pedo so i i, I hope uh, you can you can spend this ample amount of time like 30 30 minutes uh, to clear pedo at the best i'm making out uh, uh, my uh, child psychology and uh, the behavior modifications or your nitrous oxide and everything were untouched why because you have one or two to three videos on this on, on on your regular sessions and i hope you have done it so i don't i i i'm i have not included that in this okay i, I want you guys along with this go back okay just have a glance over the notes of the two videos which are prepared on child psychology stay positive god bless you and make a note don't skip uh, topics like nitrous oxide conscious sedation nitrous oxide is very very important behavior modifications all this uh, aversive conditioning techniques and important the first part of child psychology is important because they 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 have selected the questions very good very in a very very good pattern and in a very good fashion okay so one question from that area behavior modifications one question next comes jumps to uh, nitrous oxide conscious sedation one question so they have they have they have organized their uh, questions in a very very decent pattern okay so we need to appreciate them uh, for, a, for, a, for a beautiful question paper that need 2020 and hopefully we'll see one more decent and great session on december 16th god bless you stay positive stay tuned to the group for one more video done signing off dr Srikant from team mds conquer